guys, sorry, I don't know what the heck happened. Um, it said that my video failed. So um, I figured I'd just start over, no big deal. Um, so hopefully I, those of you who were on and I lost you, I'm so sorry. Hopefully you uh, are able to get back on. Anyways, so I wanted to clear up that question about the workshop that just because it's like the F fear workshop or whatever, um, I'm not teaching you guys how to tell the people in your life to actually F off. It's like, you know, like I was saying, it's like the proverbial F off. Hi, Melissa. So I'm not actually like, I'm not going to teach you guys how to, how to necessarily like speak to the people in your life, but I'm going to teach you how to, how to speak to yourself, like the self-talk that comes of, you know, having those fears, having those worries, having that self-doubt based on what the other people in your life are thinking and saying and telling you that you can just kind of like bless and release their feelings and those things and just kind of, you can tell the way it makes you feel to F off like, hey, I'm not available for this. I'm not going to put up with you know, these kind of things. And then you can take the action that you need to. And we'll talk about some of the different types of actions that you can take. Um, I know like Nicole, she teaches a class on how to have the, you know, how to initiate some of those tough conversations. And that's, that can be sometimes important too. Like even just telling somebody like, Hey, you know, I'm really trying to give this business a go. I'm really trying to earn an extra $500 a month because I'm a single parent or, um, I'm trying to save up for my family's vacation. And even though the F off side of me wants to be like, Hey, F off. It's none of your business. There's still, you know, sometimes it's the most important people in our lives who are giving us the grief. And so we still try to maintain, you know, good quality relationships. And so maybe we just don't have to talk to them about it. You just tell them like, Hey, this is what I'm doing right now. I'm doing it for myself. I'm doing it because I really believe in my product or service, whatever it is that you're offering, right? And I would just love your support. And if you can't support me, I would just love if you could stop not supporting me, if that makes sense. Like, I would love it if you basically, if you could just, you know, withdraw your negative comments. You know, and there's a lot of different ways to say that. And a lot of times, you know, just based on my experience, you know, like talking to certain people and I'm lucky, I do have quite a big support group. Um, but I've also noticed that I've had friends unfriend me and I'm like, Oh, okay. Well that's okay. Because we weren't actually friends anyways. Oh, April says, yes, this is exactly what I needed a year ago. It was so hard when people would constantly, hold on one second would question constantly why I wanted to be my own boss and why I felt like I needed to be. Yes, and that's just partly it. I mean, sorry guys, I feel so rude. I'm totally chewing gum. Um, that's partly it. We come from such, I call it employee mentality. Like we're stuck in this thing that society's created it for us, right? Like society's created this concept. You have to do well in high school and all through grade school. I mean, how many of us had parents who wanted to give us money for getting straight A's, right? Like mine did. And, and with good intentions, definitely it's all with good intentions for the most part. But then it's like college. I remember my grandfather telling me, Amy, college, 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 because he grew up super poor. He taught himself to read as an adult, you know, like, cause he had to go to trade school, um, because he started a family young and he had to make something of himself. So for him, it was so important to see like Amy college, 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 college. And, um, and even going to college can sometimes be a struggle. I mean, it's not free and it's not even, it's not cheap. So if you don't have, you know, the planning set up for you in advance, chances are that you don't have a real easy way into college, right? So that can be its own obstacle, but it's all doable. That's like the whole point of this workshop is anything you really set your mind to, anything you want, like you can feel it in your bones. Like, you know, like I have to go to college. I have to start this business. I have to help these women. I have to do this. I have to do that because you feel so strongly called to that message and to that purpose or to that mission, whatever it is. That's
that's what this workshop is going to be about. Like anything that's holding you back or setting you back or pushing you back even, that's what this is about. Like overcoming that, overcoming the self doubt and, you know, like really getting it into your own mind and getting right with that on your own. That's what it's about. That's what the workshop is about. Like, so the F off fear workshop is not about telling your mother-in-law to fuck off. The F off fear workshop is telling all those little voices in your head, all of those little feelings that are like holding you back from really saying and really doing what you want to do. That's what the workshop's about. How to kind of change your own self-talk, how to change your, your perception of your own self, uh, if I could talk, self-worth. That, my friends, is what it's about. So yes, while you do and may have negative Nancys in your life, there is a way to get their voices out of your head. And there's a way to just get past the idea that, oh my God, what if they unfriend me on Facebook? So what, what if they unfriend you on Facebook? Big deal. I mean, if they're a really important part of your life, you're going to still like talk to them on the phone. You're going to still see them at Sunday dinner. You're going to still like see them at the kids' birthday parties and girls' nights and whatever, whatever it is that you do with your friends or your family members or whatever, those things are still going to come up. But when they ask you, you know, and if they say it in like a shitty way, like, oh, so how's your business? Duh, duh, duh. You can just be like, oh, it's fabulous. Thank you for asking and change the subject. You know, um, it's, it's really that simple, but it starts with deciding. It starts with deciding that you're ready to take that next, next step in your business. You're ready to overcome that self fear and those, those limiting beliefs that you have. Like, am I good enough? My market's so saturated. Who would want to buy from me? All of those kind of thoughts. That's what this workshop is about. Not just the outside stuff. Yes. The outside stuff can cripple us. It totally can cripple us. But if you have a strong enough self-talk and you have a strong enough why, and by why I don't mean good shape. Maybe you have something that you are dying to offer. Maybe you are already signed up with an MLM company. Maybe you just have a, a vision in your mind. Maybe, so maybe you're, like I said, maybe you're already signed up, but when you put your feelers out there or you made the announcement that you were getting started and you would love people's support and you, you know, you kind of debuted your business, maybe you got scared. Maybe that feedback wasn't you know, wasn't what you expected. Maybe the people in your, in your life weren't welcoming you with open arms, you know, like maybe that's what set you back. But here's the thing that doesn't have to be the end of your business. It doesn't have to be, that doesn't have to be it. You can keep, you know, keep plugging along. There's a saying out there that talks about it's it's like a little mean quote right and it says something about at first they'll ask you why you're doing it and then they'll ask you how so a lot of times too because going back to having that employee mentality a lot of times people just aren't used to the idea that you know this woman is going to start her own business from her kitchen table like how could that even work like it must be a pyramid scheme right or what if she, is she going to ask me for my money? And like, you know, you have your friends and family who are like, well, you know, I don't want to give Amy my money. Well, that's fine. Chances are they're not your ideal client anyway. So it's not, it's not any big deal. So 
the biggest takeaway that's going to be part of the workshop just to kind of clear that up is really getting yourself in alignment with what you want for yourself whatever your desires are and being really crystal clear on what they really are like you know sometimes we talk about or we see people who they're flaunting all their fancy stuff like oh I just got a Chanel purse and oh I just got this like you know a Range Rover or whatever it is right maybe you don't want a Chanel purse or a Range Rover or maybe you want one but not the other that's okay your vision of success is gonna be unique to you you know if all you're really needing or wanting is an extra $500 a month you know that's $125 a week totally 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 doable right with any MLM or even an independent type of business that's so doable but that could really make such a huge difference for so many people so when I say this I'm not trying to like I'm not trying to discourage you guys and I'm not trying to say it's all bad what I'm trying to say is self-doubt creeps in the fears are real and we've got to find that way to overcome them and it's totally doable to overcome these fears it's totally doable to to change the trajectory of your life and of your business and have that confidence you know to really speak up and speak out and Get your message out there and if you're not fired up about your message if you are not sure that you feel a hundred percent behind your product or your service chances are you're not and that's okay that's okay I mean you know we go through different phases of life we go through different seasons of life if you will and those loves and passions and ideas and thoughts, they change, they evolve. It's part of human nature and it's okay. It's totally okay to go from loving a fitness video to being burnt out on it and wanting to try a new video or, uh, you know, like if you're like me, I'm not feeling working out at home right now. So here I am taking you guys with me to the bar class down the hill and, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You just have to go with the punches, follow your instincts, follow the flow, you know, feel into what feels good to you. If you feel like you're getting up every single day and you have to force your business, chances are you're out of alignment somewhere. Usually, in my experience, the first place that I see that people fall out of alignment, it's with themselves, with their self-talk, with their self-confidence, with having self-doubts that creep in like seemingly out of nowhere or fears you know like there's all kinds of different fears there's the fear of you know obviously the fear of what is everybody gonna say the fear of what if they unfriend me the fear of feeling like you're salesy or sleazy or you know like used carsman type of used car salesman type of you know image being portrayed upon you and it doesn't have to be that way if you show up and you just share your message in a true authentic way that people can tell that you're passionate about it people can tell that you love sharing that message they can feel the energy behind it they can like you know that's back to again I'll use this probably for the rest of forever that's when the I'll have what she's having kind of concept kicks in where you've created such an amazing energy and such an amazing space that people can't help to you know gravitate towards you and want to know like okay I want to show up on camera like that I want to get out there and just speak my mind I want to share my message as if I'd been sharing it for 20 years and I was already the top distributor or the top coach or or whatever in my industry that's okay start showing up like that now start feeling into that and be really honest with yourself if it's not what you want if it's not something you can feel into you feel out of alignment with it and here's the thing there's a difference between being nervous about going live on video and being out of alignment with what you're trying to promote so like for me like an example that I'll give you I 
most likely will never ever promote the insanity workouts. One, because I hate cardio. And I don't think that will likely change. I'm not, I mean, never say never. But I did the, I did 45 of the 60 days of insanity. I ended up getting a knee injury because apparently I'm not very light on my feet with all that jumping. And so it caused me to get some injury. So I had to stop. But I forced myself to do the program. I didn't get hard, I didn't really get any transformation. I didn't get any results. You know, I think I changed one or two pounds. And I dreaded doing the workouts every single day because it wasn't my jam. It wasn't what I was in alignment with. I didn't enjoy it. I didn't love it, but I forced myself to do it. And because it was forced, I just went through the motions and I ended up getting hurt and I didn't love it. And there's no way that I could try to sell it to somebody, right? Even still, there's no freaking way that I could tell somebody they should do insanity because I don't believe it. It's not my thing. It's not my style. And yes, 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 it's a highly effective program for somebody. I, however, am not that somebody. So for me, the point I'm trying to make here is you will never see me promoting that program. However, for the longest time, 21 Day Fix was my jam. I loved it. I thought it was effective. I liked the 30 minute workouts. I liked that it had minimal cardio, all of that kind of stuff. So when I came to talking about that, it just flowed. Hey, Joy. Um, so yeah, it just totally like flowed. I didn't have to like write out a script. I didn't have to read somebody else's script. I could just talk about it based on my own experience, my own excitement, my own results, and my own passion for it. And I could confidently do that without a second thought. So that's the place that I want you guys to lead from in your business. And like I said, it could be a product, it could be a service, it could be multiple products and services. And maybe you're part of an MLM and you don't love every product. That's fine. You don't talk about every product. You talk about what you know and what you love. And then if it comes up that a product, you know, say like insanity, if somebody comes to me and they're like, I love, well, or it comes to you, I guess. Um, I love cardio. I want to do like the hardest cardio workout ever. Then you're like, oh yeah, do insanity. Like here's how you get it. But chances are I'm not going to attract somebody who is like, yeah, I love cardio because I'm like, I don't love cardio and I'm pretty open about that. And that's another thing too, is being transparent about the good, the bad and the ugly. Like you can be totally like a hundred percent honest with your people. Like, yeah, I don't use that product one because it doesn't, it's not something that I've ever needed to use. Like for you, Joy, you probably don't have a need to use every single product that your line offers, right? Like, um, since it's skincare, if you have dry skin, you're not going to use the oily skin solutions, right? Or regimen, I guess, if you will. And vice versa. If you have oily skin, you're not going to use the dry skin formulas. So you can only really speak to what you know, but it is nice to know that if by chance you have somebody who comes to you and they're like, Oh, Hey, I see that you've made this great transformation. I'm a little bit different. What have you got to offer? Then you still know your, you know, your product line and you still have the option to give them something, even if you don't use it, but you can lead by saying, I, and this is like my story. I have dry skin, so I've never used the oily skin solution, but this is what the dry skin solution has done for me. And I've seen, you know, my sister has oily skin and she's just had amazing results with the oily skin or the acne or whatever, you know, whatever it is. Um, you can speak to it in that way. You don't have to, you don't have to have used every product, but you also don't have to promote every product with your story, with your unique story. Because ultimately, that's why people come to you. They like your energy. They like your story. They like your transformation. That's why you hear over and over and over that you have to lead with yourself. You guys, this video is like so bouncy. That's because I'm in the truck and it is so bouncy. Anyways, um, 
So that's really it as far as answering the questions. And I, I know I got a little bit off topic too um, about some of the things in the in the workshop this weekend. So no, you don't have to tell your mother-in-law or your sister-in-law or whoever. You don't have to tell them to F off. We're telling your fears to F off. We're doing, it's like really like a mindset type of course and really, really diving into those fears, those limiting beliefs, the self-doubt and the self-talk really. I mean, how to start making those shifts so that you can really get started, so that you can really get moving with your business instead of staying stopped and stalled and afraid and worried, even though you know for whatever reason that you really, really wanna pursue this. You really, really want to take this business to the next level. You want something more for yourself. You want something more for your life. Maybe you're a single mom and you wanna work from home because you wanna homeschool your kids. You wanna take them on more vacations. You need the extra money, whatever it is. There's no shame in any reason why you choose to be part of, a, of an MLM. There's no shame in wanting to start your own business and start you know, being your own boss and having that freedom. Like, let me just tell you, I, I am not one single bit sorry that I'm my own boss. Not even a little bit. Like here I am, quote unquote working, talking to you lovely ladies, giving you a little pep talk, and I'm on my way to the freaking gym, like to the bar class. Like that's freedom, you guys. That is freaking freedom. All right, let me go back through while I'm stopped really quick and look at some of these questions. April said, yes, single mom since 18, 18 and it was hard. Multiple jobs trying to go to college, haha. -ha. It was definitely a struggle. Yeah, legit. It can be a struggle just to get to college. Um, oh, I'm so excited for this workshop even more now. Oh, awesome. Thanks, April. Okay, Joy, what did you say? You said, exactly. Share your results and before... Oh, and belief in it. Sorry. And then get other stories too. Yeah. So that's basically just the... That's just it. You share what you can based on... Because everybody wants to know what it did for you. They want, and that's, and I'll t be totally honest, that's what I wanna know when I get something from somebody. Well, how did it work for you? What did it do for you? What do you like about it? You know, um, and that could be anything. It can be anything from essential oils to a weight loss program, to a weight loss supplement, to, you know, a skincare line. Like, so I was at Bare Minerals yesterday because I needed to get a few things. And I was talking to the lady and I let her do my makeup for, for the pictures because why not, right? And, um, and she was talking to me, but she's like, I've been a user of these products for, I think she said 15 years, but worked there for nine. So I knew that she was pretty knowledgeable because she was also a user, but even, even the same, like I met a gal um, two weeks ago now. And it was at the meet and greet with Jessica Caver Lindholm. And one of the gals there, her name was Beverly. She also was like a part-time Mary Kay consultant. And her skin was amazing. And she'd never mentioned to anybody that she was paired up with Mary Kay or doing anything. Because it's really just like a super on the side thing. It wasn't what she was leading with. And, um, but somebody opened that door and was like, oh, you have such beautiful skin what do you do? And she'll, she's like, Oh, I use Mary Kay and I have this charcoal mask and it sucks all the crap out of your face. And I have this other thing and it makes your skin smooth. And I'm sure, I'm sure that Joy can relate to this because she's probably like, yeah, I got one of those too. I got one of those. I've got one of those. But sometimes, you know, like if you're living proof of the product, like maybe you used to be, mm, I'll just throw it out there. Maybe you used to be over 200 pounds and now you're like 130 pounds. People are going to be like, last time I saw you, you know, compared to now, like, what are you doing? Like, you look amazing. They want to know what you're doing. And your story, it's not something you have to rehearse, like I said. It's not something you have to write out a script. It's not something you have to put any effort into thinking about. You just tell them, this is what I did here's how it worked and it was way easier than I thought. It was way more affordable than I thought. It was worth every penny, whatever it is, right? And then they're gonna be like, oh, it was only $100 or, oh, 
man, I would give a hundred dollars to have that transformation in my body or in my skin or, you know, somebody with acne, they'd pay a hundred dollars to get rid of their acne and not have to be on medication. Like, I mean, that's the truth of the matter. You guys like, yes, it's okay to borrow stock images from, from your website and whatever. But the best is when you can really, really show like, this is my sister and this was her transformation. She went from dry skin to, you know, beautiful skin. That's like, I don't even know what the right words are. You guys like <laughs> subtle or supple or Joy's going to kill me. <laughs> um, so, you know, you can, I'm going to change it because that just got totally screwed up. But either way, like you can say like, this is my sister and you tag her in the post versus like, this is Joelle and she lost 37 pounds doing the miracle diet, eating miracle foods and whatever. Right. And it's like, you could tell like, there's no personal connection there. It's not anybody that anybody knows. And it's just like straight off the website. Those, those tend to turn people off. Um, they turn me off. So that's why I mention it. I know joy. I like totally got like jammed up. I'm obviously you guys not a skincare person. I'm not a skincare expert and I don't even know skincare terminology on how to tell you about it. So <laughs> my, my, um, my full disclosure there. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, Julie says, this is my sister and she is awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> or were you saying that because I've shared your awesome transformation in the past, but that's what I said about you. <laughs> Um, either way, you guys, like, that's basically it. Like, there's no shame in what you're doing. And if somebody tries to shame you, whether it's mom shame or MLM haters or whatever, that's what I want this workshop to really be about is telling those people, you know, not, and not necessarily telling them to F off, but coming from a place where you're just like, I don't care what you think. Like your opinion is not going to prevent my success. Your opinion doesn't matter. Your opinion, hold on, I have to bark you guys. Your opinion just is irrelevant basically. So, so that's what the workshop's about. I really wanted to, to kind of clear up any, any questions or confusion or whatever. Um, cause I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to jump in on it. And a, again, it's a one day workshop, a few hours long that really just hashes it all out and gets you really moving forward in the right direction instead of dragging it out over a few weeks. I just didn't feel like this was the appropriate format to be a few weeks long, um, or even the appropriate content. So if you guys have any questions, I have about 15 minutes left before I have to go inside. Um, so now's a good time to pop in any questions you have about starting your own business. You guys, I'm in Rancho Bernardo and these parking spots are so freaking small. Like I'm in the truck. Okay. So there's a Honda next to me and they're trying to be between the lines, but even their Honda is too wide to fit in these tiny parking spaces. So I'm in the truck and I had to park, I don't know. I had to park quite a ways away just so I could get the truck even to like turn into a spot. That's how tiny these spots are. So only downside to coming here, but that Mercedes over there, I don't know if you can see it, the blue one, right? Right there. There we go. Took my spot that I usually park in when I come with the kids. It's like extra wide so I can open the doors and get Maddie in and out. So I always like, this is going to sound woo woo as ever, but I always tell the universe like to give me a good parking spot. And I totally got one. It's a little bit away from, from the front door of the, of the bar studio, but I totally was able to make the truck fit into a, into a parking spot. So there's your daily dose of woo woo. Don't forget to thank the universe today. If it does something nice for you. Um, well, if you guys don't have any questions, I'm going to wrap up and go inside and, uh, I will talk to you guys later. Again, if you have any more questions about uh, the workshop this weekend, just let me know. I am feeling more called to do it Saturday. Um, 
just seems like a, a good plan because I don't know what time I'll be home on Sunday. So I think Saturday mid mid morning probably is probably when I'll do it. I'll confirm that. Um, I'll confirm that by tomorrow. So I will talk to you guys soon and I hope to see you in the workshop.